sure. What the hell does that mean? How do you service, how do you service a shifter? Last time on Lazy Geckos. We moved our entire family from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Spent some much needed time with family in San Diego, California, while we celebrated Jeremiah's retirement after 21 years in the United States Marine Corps. And we couldn't help but party it up in good old Las Vegas with our baby boy, Reese. Christmas decorations, which is kind of funny because we haven't even unpacked our stuff. But if you know us, then you know that we're a bit of like a Christmas fanatic family over here. We love it. Best time of the year for us. We have tons of decorations. My husband started putting up the outside lights today. I don't think they're done yet, but we're going to go check them out anyways. Most would say that trying to decorate during this major transition in our lives would be nearly impossible. But for us, we had to make the nearly impossible possible. We wanted Reese to experience his first Christmas Lazy Gecko style. Wait. So right now we're just visiting family and kind of catching up with everybody and you know, they're getting to meet Reese, the newest little addition. They haven't, uh, a lot of my family hasn't been able to meet him. Uh, ready to go meet some family? You ready to go meet some family? Jeremiah and I have been so blessed to experience living in many different parts of the United States during our time in the military. But that time has also limited the time that we have been able to enjoy our family. During this transition period, we are making it a point to soak up every single second we can with our families. And we are looking forward to them joining us during our sailing adventures. We 
were so lucky to have been able to spend time with Dad, Brittany, and Reese while they attended their last Marine Corps ball before my dad retired. My stepmom even asked me to do her hair for the ball, which was such an honor. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter and I on my last Marine Corps ball. Aww. Doing good? Yeah, thank you. Beautiful good woman. Looking good. Since Reese was born, we haven't got to spend as much time with him as we'd like. This opportunity was just awesome, and we really got to enjoy some quality time while Dad and Brittany were down at the ball. This little man loves to eat. He's so much fun, and I'm so happy to be his big sister. Everyone fell asleep on me while they're at the dinner for the ball. I stopped little me. It's just me. On my own. My name is Trevor, I'm the oldest son of my family, and I'm 10 years old and I am in fifth grade. Hoisting the sails and going scuba diving and probably using spear guns. Yeah? You excited about the blue waters and clear waters? Yeah. And do you have anything you'd like to say to everybody out there? More subscribers, please. My name is Megan. I am 15 years old. <laughs> and uh, my family calls me Megger Baker. <laughs> it's cool, like I'm interested, but it's kind of crazy. Are you excited? Yeah. To sail the Caribbean. I think that it is going to be fun and cool to be able to go on a sailboat and sail the world because I like adventures and I also like the water and animals and I like being around my family a lot and being on a small sailboat with my family all around will be very fun. Alright, and do you have anything else you want to add? Go ahead and have it. <laughs> Jessica. And I'm quite atrocious. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> all in all, I am actually very excited about our future plans of living on a sailboat. I really can't wait to wake up, walk outside, and see the ocean as my front yard. I also really can't wait to jump off the bow and snorkel with the fish. Our older sister, Ashen, couldn't give a little interview because she had to get home to get some rest for her job. See, Ashen works long hours and she gets up super early in the morning. But since she had to go so early, we decided to stop by and see her in action. Ashen is a hard worker and really enjoys her job at Panera Bread. We had such an awesome visit with our family, as we always do, and we didn't like to say goodbye to Dad, Brittany, and Reese, but we had to. Thankfully, it was only for a short period as we will be coming to Florida for the Christmas holiday. 
Since the minute we welcomed Reese into the world, he has been drawn to his siblings. To watch them all interact is absolutely amazing. It is easy to see the love in their hearts for one another. Before leaving California, we just had to stop by our favorite little burrito shop. Having a burrito in Cali is a must, as they are awesome in like no other. I suggest a California style burrito. And for Jeremiah, he would say that the carne asada burrito is the best. La casa del merengue. La, 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 All right, so we're finishing up our trip in San Diego. Uh, it's right before the, we're heading to the airport. We decided to stop along San Diego Bay and uh, check out the bo boats. We saw a couple of boards. That was really cool. And we're excited to get home. We have appointments lined up starting in a couple days, and we will start viewing boats. So, what are you doing? Looking at boats. Story of our lives, yeah. huh? Yeah, all we well. huh? All we do is live and breathe boats. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I, I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, it's yeah. not a bad job, is it? No. I know. Just going through all the different ones we've looked at, and you know, just still trying to decide if we want to do a more expensive boat with, you know supposedly less issues or an older boat with with definitely some issues but with it having um some history mm -hmm. some personality to it and what about the 37 foot hunter we just went and saw i thought that was fine i don't really want a production boat but that was a i think it was an 80 1980 yeah, 1981. This is the little paper they give you. And uh, I liked it. It's 37 feet. It was solid. It was had good sails, good engine. The boat was in great condition. There wasn't any soft spots, right? Yeah, I mean, everything was great. Yeah. Except my wife didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's pretty important. Yeah. I liked it. It was just a little too small for Brittany's taste. So we're still looking. We have lots of options. You start to feel a little bit anxious because there's all these boats that you could get. And all you have to do is go get it. But you have to make sure it's the right one. So try to be patient about it and just keep looking. And, you know, maybe one of the ones, I mean, we found one we really like, a Morgan that's older. And, it's uh, in 1981? Yeah, I think so. Well, it seems like a lot of the boats, it just seems like the older ones are more solidly built. It seems like they're more solid. And the newer ones are prettier. You know, but we don't necessarily need pretty. We want something that's safe, solid, you know, and secure. And Safety is our number one priority. Yeah. And then I'd say the sails, the rigging, the engine. Yeah, I, all I care about is a solid boat myself. I want the hull to be solid. I want the engine to have been taken well, well taken care of or it had been replaced professionally. Um, sails, I want to be solid. Rigging, I want, I want everything. That was one thing I didn't really like about the mast. There was a little bit of a, on the 3700, the old previous owner had put uh, some bolts through the mast and I just, it might be okay, but I'd want an engineer to look at it to make sure it didn't mess with like structural integrity of the mast. Um, but you know, I just wanted to be safe. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to keep growing my beard. Mm. <laughs> I am all that is man. That's right. I'm looking forward to doing this in the back of our boat, though. Yeah, the okay. grill won't be that big. But I'll yeah. see about bringing this grill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you, is it just going to sit on our dinghy? No, yeah, we can sit on a dinghy. Yeah. <laughs> It goes a pontoon, sometimes the side just go behind us, like the tender. Yeah, okay. That's fabulous. I guess we're getting a huge boat, which is great news to me. Prime rib, been marinating for like two and a half days or something. And a special marinade I like to call some Brittany made. <laughs> yeah. Jeremiah and I have been searching for the perfect boat online for over a year now. And now that we are finally able at the point in our lives to start viewing them, we came up with a pretty good list of what was needed and what was wanted. Jeremiah's list included decent sails, good rigging, a solid haul, and a well taken care of engine. And as for me, I wanted a 40 foot or larger boat that included lots of storage, a decent and functioning galley since I knew that I would be spending a lot of time in there cooking. I also would have liked either three cabins or two cabins in a settee that turned into a berth. It was very important that I was able to have a cabin for Jeremiah and I and a cabin that I could turn into a baby friendly area for Reese. Reese needed an area that was safe and functioned well for him and his big brother Trevor. Along with either a third cabin or a all-purpose settee berth to allow our daughters to be comfortable during their sailing adventures with us. And of course, we also had to think about accommodating our two English Bulldogs and our four-pound Yorkie. So the cockpit and the deck space was very important as well since we wanted to have enough room for our dogs to enjoy the inside and the outside of the boat as well. Some added bells and whistles would have been solar panels, air conditioning, decomposing head, a nice canopy, a working water maker, and of course a dinghy that will soon take on the name Taco. Since we are a rather large family, it would have been nice to find a boat with two heads, but this was not a deal breaker for us, and we were willing to make one head work for all of us. That nice to have list was really a deal breaker when considering boats, since we must have working air conditioning before we set sail for our dogs and obviously we need taco, our dinghy, for transportation. So today we are getting rid of our beautiful 2003 Honda Accord. It's bittersweet. Um, this is originally my car when Jeremiah and I met. I bought and paid for it myself, so it's very special to me. It's a little sad, but it's uh, cool also in the same sense because we're that much closer to moving on the boat. It's one less vehicle we have to worry about. Um, we got what we wanted for it, which is great. Today we are going to go in the Gulf for a little bit. It's a smaller boat so we can't go too long because of uh, Reese. You know, we won't have anywhere to sit or anything like that. Ouch. 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 Because of my earring. We spent the day rocking out on our parents' beautiful 26-foot Ranger fishing boat. We entered the Gulf of Mexico through the Hernando County waterways. 
On the way out to the Gulf, we got to enjoy seeing many sailboats, which allowed us to further dream of how the water will be our front yard very soon. The Gulf of Mexico is a Mediterranean type of sea located at the southeastern corner of North America. It measures approximately 1.600 kilometers from east to west, 900 kilometers from the north to the south, and has an external area of 1.5 million square kilometers. This location has some ideal spots for swimming, such as Pine Island Beach, where the waters are not too salty and have some shallow areas for its visitors to enjoy some time swimming. And if you are lucky, like we were, then you will be able to enjoy seeing dolphins swimming as they are most likely feeding in the rich gulf waters. These waters are home to many boaters. Some come for the great fishing and others come for the incredible dive locations, which include various reefs within a few miles from the shoreline. Jeremiah and I have both had a love for the open waters for quite some time. We were both fortunate enough to grow up around boating. Jeremiah grew up with a father that built gorgeous sailboats with beautiful woodwork, and I grew up spending my summers living on our family powerboats in Ontario, Canada. been awful. Oh my gosh, can't stand it. I can't make phone calls. I'll hit the button to call somebody and it'll take like 20 minutes to actually call out. Can't send or receive like text. It used to be just like pictures and then it, like I couldn't do the videos and now it's so bad I can't even like send or receive a text. It's awful. But we downgraded from our iPhones. We've always had the iPhone because when we realized we wanted to go sail, we really tightened up and got rid of all the excess fat, I guess you could say, and we kind of lived like bare necessities. It's funny because we always talked about there would become a point when we would start loosening back up and adding, you know, things in, like an iPhone and that type of thing. We just wanted to save, 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 save. And now we're at the point where we can start adding little things in if we want, like, um, the iPhone, which we also need for sailing. Anyways, merge onto West Cypress Street. Pretty exciting. Ask them if anybody else's Google <laughs> navigation is that annoying. Is anybody else's Google app annoying as like anything in the world? It seriously can put me in a bad mood. Merge onto West Cypress Street, <laughs> then turn right onto North Lewis Avenue. Thing. Yeah, it's like every quarter mile it has to tell you where to turn. It's so annoying. I guess it's good for like those people that don't pay attention and like have no discipline. But for us, we like are very disciplined. We have great attention to detail. It's just, it drives us crazy. It's like I, I got it the first time. You don't need to tell me 10,000 times. Turn right onto North Lois Avenue. <sighs> Okay, so I'm standing here with Naomi. We just got to the Apple Store actually like 20 minutes ago. We were going to get the 16 gigabyte smaller iPhone 6S, but we went with the Plus. And we were going to share and now we each have our own. I went with the rose gold. He went with the black with the black face because it's upside down. And Naomi here helped us. She was awesome, very helpful. And we appreciate it. We are unsure of our time frame. It may be a couple weeks up to a couple months before we make our final move onto the Lazy Gecko, as we still have some household items to be sold and preparing to do before our big move. But hopefully we can get Kaya trained before then. 
As for now, we know that we are truly one lucky family that have five incredible kids and three loving dogs. We cannot wait to embark on this journey to show our family and friends just how amazing this world really can be. Next time on Lazy Geckos, we get to come to Florida for the Christmas holiday. We help Dad and Brittany pick from our final selections and then we take you for a ride on the sailboat that we decided to buy. We relax by the pool as we celebrate my dad's birthday. Don't miss as we go on the Gulf of Mexico to catch some sweet fish. Make sure to visit the Lazy Geckos on these awesome social media apps. See you next time.